Welcome to the training session for EMS Web. In this session, we're going to be talking about how to access uh, EMS Web. You'll see that the first step is to self-register an EPR portal. And the web address for that is right here at https uh, eprweb.cnic.navy.mil. Now, the reason that you have to self-register an EPR portal is because the EMS web module is part of the EPR portal uh, website. So the idea is that you first access EPR portal and then you go to the EMS web module. And you'll need separate accounts uh, for accessing EPR portal and then a separate one to access EMS web. To get your EPR portal account, you can self-register. So you don't need uh, anybody else to help you through the process. So you would go to your uh, web browser and go to that um, web address that I provided. And so that was https uh, eprweb.cnic.navy.mil. So you'll notice that uh, the very first thing that um, the website will ask you is your uh, is for your cat card, and you'll have to put in your PIN. Now, I've previously gone to this website, so it remembered my CAT card during this session. But um, it is a strict security requirement for EPR portal and most all Navy web applications that you have a CAT card to access it. And that is the only requirement for uh, getting access to EPR portal and EMS web is that you have a uh, valid CAT card. So it doesn't matter what service you belong to or if you're a contractor, but um, as long as you have a CAT card, you can access EPR portal. Now, if you have a uh, EPR portal account, you will see that this log on with CAT card now button is available. And so whatever uh, CAC certificate you use to register with EPR portal, as long as you use that same CAC certificate when you go to the EPR portal homepage, then it will recognize that you have an existing account and you can use the log on with CAT card now button. Otherwise, you'll either need to use a um, login name and password or uh, if you um, have, if you're not using the right CAC certificate. And if you don't have an EPR portal account, you will have to self-register. And so you do that by going to this new user link and clicking on that. And then that will bring up a, a new form. And so you'll see that some of the fields are pre-populated because it's reading the information off of your CAT card. So it has your um, name pre-populated on it. So if you're only um, using this form to access EMS Web, then you can just fill out your telephone number and your email address. So the email address that you use here uh, is going to be the same email address that is linked to your EMS web account. And so any automated emails that originate from EMS web will go to this email address. It does not have to be a .mil uh, account. So if you're a contractor, you can use your um, organization's uh, email address. So then uh, you would define who your um, budget submitting office, your BSO is. For most of you, that's going to be CNIC, which is the default. And then you would search for your region, such as uh, Southeast. And then in the one below, 
uh, it would list all of the installations in Southeast and you would pick the proper one. So for, the, for this example, I'm just going to pick Weapon Station Charleston. So um, this is the same form that you use to request user permissions from the other EPR portal modules, which include the financial module, all of the data collection uh, modules for the annual data calls, such as the water module, the air quality, uh, hazardous waste, solid waste, and also to the NOV account. So what you would do to um, ask for access to the EMS web is you would change um, the, do you need access to the EMS web to yes, and then um, click submit registration. Once you click on submit registration, then at that time you will uh, gain access to EPR portal and uh, the next time you go to the home page, um, then you will uh, have that log on with CAC card now button available. Now, one tip is uh, when you first go to EPR portal, select your identity um, PKI certificate. Don't choose the um, email one and that'll make it a little easier for you to log into uh, EPR portal because the identity certificate is always the first one that uh, comes up when you go to uh, EPR portal. Uh, if, okay, so I'm gonna go back to the logon page so once you hit um, log on with CAC Card Now button, then you're able to get to EPR Portal. It lists all of the modules of EPR Portal, and then uh, the one that you are interested in is the EMS Web link. So uh, you will be able to log into EMS Web once you get an EMS Web account created. So uh, we've decentralized the um, process for getting EMS web accounts. So everybody, most everybody at your uh, installation has a organization administrator who is able to create EMS web accounts for your installation. So you don't need to come to XWIC or a, another uh, organization to get your user account created you can go to your organization administrator and request uh, from them to uh, create your EMS web account with the appropriate level of user permissions. Uh, if you don't know who your organization administrator is, then you can contact myself at eugene.wang at navy.mil and then I can uh, point you in the right direction. Usually your organization administrator is your uh, IEPD or your environmental program director. Now, if you log into EPR portal and uh, you do not uh, get um, the log on with CAC card now button of, um, to show up, one thing you can do is you can get a manual uh, password and e uh, username and email sent to you via email. So if you go back to um, the home page, so I'm going to log out and come back on now, there is a link for forgot password. And you can also use this if uh, you have a new uh, cat card that hasn't been recognized by EPR portal. So in that case, you click on Forgot Password, and then um, you put in the email address of your existing EPR portal account, and then click on the Send Account information. And then EPR portal will uh, automatically fire off an automated email that will be sent to you, and that will contain a... Um, password. Your username is just your uh, email address. 
And so here on this PowerPoint slide is an example of an uh, email that gets generated by EPR portal. So you'll see it has your username and the temporary password, and the password is um, a long one, so you usually want to cut and paste this thing into uh, EPR portal. And do note that when you select the password that uh, it goes all the way to the right, including the date and time. So uh, copy by using control C and select the, the whole uh, item there. So um, that is the pr same process that you go through when you need to get your CAT card um, updated as well. Now, there are written uh, guidance instructions for accessing um, EMS Web and self-registering an EPR portal. This is located in EMS Web. There is a link on the right-hand side uh, for EMS Web site map and guidance, and in that web page there is an access EMS Web hyperlink, and that will uh, download a Word document that contains this information. So you can um, always go to that place for uh, further information, and um, it also has some other additional tips that you may like.